Now remember that these lessons of Luganda 101 are completely free, absolutely free. But I just want to take a quick moment of your time before lessons begin to let you know of these incredible products I have on offer, beginning with Kalun Gem clothing. Because at Kalun Gem, we believe that to be royal is to be above cool. So be the first to get your hands on this Kalun Gem merchandise, beginning with this snapback, this black snapback with the golden Kalun Gem crown. The snapback also comes in other colors, including navy blue now you got a sneak peek of the kalun gem gold on white t-shirt so get your hands on that but if you're you see and you're something like Jon snow and you know winter is coming then why not check out this kalun gem sweatshirt this black kalun gem sweatshirt get your hands on that especially if you are in the united states where we are currently only shipping this particular sweatshirt but the other products are available in the EU, UK included. Now, if you're waiting for the Kalun Gem drip to drop, why not check out my debut album? The lead track, Katugende, is now available on YouTube. The music video that was shot in Entebbe and Kampala and other areas. Beautiful, beautiful. So if you are missing Pate after Pate, why not check out Katugende, which means let's go in Luganda you be able to get yourself reacquainted with how the Ugandan sun looked like if you haven't seen it for a while. Now, if you've listened to that and you like exactly what you see and hear, then why not check out and stream the entire album Katugende by Kalunji Fresh, available, available on Apple Music. And if you are yet to get Apple Music, why not head over to Spotify where you can stream the entire album eight complete tracks, including that Katugende lead track with the music video available on YouTube. But if you don't have access to either streaming site, why not check out Bandcamp, a free, a free site that you can be able to stream this, this album wherever you are, full tracks available. Now, remember, you can be able to get access to all these products in one stop shop on Kalunji Fresh website. If you simply search kalunji.co.uk, that's so simple, especially if you're Ugandan, you should be able to spell that. That's K-A-L-U-N-G-I.co.uk. Now, enjoy these incredible lessons, and I'll speak to you soon. Okay, welcome, welcome to week one of Luganda 101 with Kalunji Sevanda K. Thank you so much for taking this big leap into picking up Luganda, or just refreshing on what you already know. So who am I? I'm Kalunji Sevandeke. I'm a Ugandan-born Londoner. I've spent my first 10 years in Uganda. I'm an actor, writer, musician. When I say spent my first 10 years, I mean um, I was born in Uganda, but I spent 10 years there. I'm an actor, writer, musician. I'm an entrepreneur. I've got a master's in acting from Guildhall School of Music and Drama a BA in Business Management from the University of Sheffield. I'm fluent in English, advanced speaker in Luganda, intermediate French speaker, and beginner's Japanese. Who are you? You are my Luganda 101 student. You're probably a complete beginner, that's okay. You're a language enthusiast. You grew up hearing Luganda, but can't speak it. Or perhaps your parents never taught you. Or maybe you just happen to be curious. The aims of the lesson are to introduce yourself, to count to 10, to learn some pronouns, learn three new verbs, and to learn to say greetings. Let us begin with the Luganda vowels. The Luganda vowels are very similar, very pr practically similar to the Latin vowels, the English vowels. Um, a, E, A, E, E, O, U. A, a, E, O, U. The Luganda alphabet is, again, similar to the Latin alphabet, with a few little exceptions. You've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I, J, K, L, M, N. Ny. Now you've got the Ny sound, as in Sonia. Then you've got O, 
P without the Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, no X, Y, Z. And notice you also haven't got a, a H. Um, you find as well that the C um, is also, also you know, pronounced a, a little differently in some cases. In Luganda, the K sometimes, you know, if it's fo followed by an I, is um, pronounced as chi, chi. So just just look out for that. Let us begin with some introductions. So as in English, there are many ways to introduce yourself in Luganda. I am Kalunji, nze Kalunji, nze Kalunji. My name is Erinyaliange, nze Kalunji. So, if someone asks you, Gwe, Bakuitani, you can say, well, Nze Kalunji, Nze Kalunji. If someone asks you, Hey, Gwen, Bakuitani, Erinyaliange, Nze Kalunji. And again, here, this I am called fits perfectly into the question, Bakuitani, Oba Erinyalio, Idiachi. I am called Mpitibwa Kalunji. Mpitibwa Kalunji. They call me Bampita Kalunji. Bampita Kalunji. So, in the next lesson, we'll learn how to ask someone their name. Numbers. To count. Okubala. Okubala. Now notice that this B is there, but typically you might pronounce it, if, you know, if you're English speaker, you might pronounce it as a hard B, a plosive B, oku bala. But be very, very careful not to pronounce it as that, because if it was going to be a B sound, there will be a, an extra B there, just to let you know. But because it's a soft B, this B is by itself, it's singular, there is no second B there. So you pronounce that as oku bala, oku Vala, v, v, v. It's a very soft B. Just like in my name, Seba and the K. One, Emu. Two, Bidi. Three, Satu. Four, Nya. Now, just to remind you again that that NY sound makes Nya, Nya, Nya. Makes Nya as in Sonya, Sonya. Nya, Nya. Five, tanu, tanu. Six, mukaga, mukaga. Now notice that that G, that G, you may, you know, you, you may or may not, you know, uh, mispronounce that as a, a soft G because you see in Kalunji, so you're thinking, oh, maybe it's mukaga. No, it's mukaga as in Malaga, you know, mukaga, Malaga, mukaga. Malaga. So just remember that. Mukaga. Musanvu. Seven. Musanvu. Musanvu. And then just bring that together. Musanvu. Eight. Munana. 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 Nine. Mwenda. Mwenda. Now, don't be tempted to uh, separate the M and the W and pronounce it as Mwenda. Just bring that MW together and just bleed into it as Mwenda. Mwenda. Ten. Kumi. 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 Pronouns. The online definition defines a pronoun as a word that can function as a noun phrase used by itself. And that refers either to the participants in the discourse, for example, I or you, or to someone or something mentioned elsewhere in the discourse. For example, she, it, this. Pronouns. I, me, nze, nze. And again, don't be tempted to pronounce that N by itself, as in nze, but to bleed into it as though you're saying in, nze. Nze, you, gwe, 
Gui. Gui. And again, that G is a hard G. Gui. He or she. Oyo. 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 Now, notice how for Luganda, we only have one pronoun for he and she. We're going to go into detail a little bit more in the next slide as to why that is. But just remember that it's a little easier in Luganda for in regards to pronouns for he and she. So you got o yo. It. Echo. Echo. That K-Y again. Um, like I mentioned before, that sometimes you might have the K-Y, K-I rather, as chi. Chi. But in this case, the K-Y-O also gives you that ch sound, as in church. Echo. So don't be tempted to pronounce it as as a kyo. But just remember that K-Y-O gives you that ch sound as in church or choose. Echo. Echo. They. Abo. Abo. And notice here we've got two A's. That just, that's just to let you know that you probably are going to go into long gate that abo. Abo. We. Fe. Fe. And again, that double F lets you know that it's a stressed, it's a stressed F uh, as opposed to a, a, a less stressed F. So, fe, fe, for we. We, fe. Now, I mentioned that he and she in Luganda just has one pronoun to indicate that. And that's because in Luganda, you know, I'm yet to find out otherwise, but it's actually gender neutral in, in that regard. The language is gender neutral. So, Whereas in English you may say he is going to the shop, in Luganda that same sentence translates to agenda kuduka. And this can be referring to either male or female. In other words, the Luganda language is gender neutral. So good news, you can tell your mum you're off to see your friend and she'll be none the wiser whether they're male or female. And another thing, notice that in the sentence agenda kuduka, I didn't use the suggested pronoun or your as in oyo agenda kuduka. Well, that's because I abbreviated the sentence. You later on learn prefixes that you can use when writing sentences. And for those of you that might not know what a prefix is, it's simply a word or a little tiny phrase that comes before a particular word to give it a new meaning. In the meantime, these pronouns can be used in isolation. For example, who let the dogs out? Gwe. Who let the dogs out? Or your, as in her or she. She did. <laughs> Verbs. Definition of a verb. A verb is a doing word, for example, to be or to go. Katugende. Let's go. That katu again is another example of a prefix that just simply means let's. Katugende. Okugenda. Oku. Genda. Again, this G is a hard G because it's followed by the letter E. So remembering okugenda, and don't be tempted to pronounce that as okugenda, because you're maybe your English speaker and you're familiar with the word agenda. So you might think, oh, okay, so it's agenda. But in Luganda, actually, it's okugenda. G, g, genda, okugenda. To go. Okuba, okuba. To be again, this be rather confusingly um, is singular by itself. Therefore, that's a soft b, as in okuba, similar to my name Sebanda K, like I said before, okuba, okuba. So don't be tempted to pronounce it as okuba, okuba, okuba. It gives it a completely different meaning. And as we go into the different verbs in Luganda, you'd actually find that okuba is something completely different. Okay. So, okuba, okuba, to be. Okuja, okuja, to come. Again, I added that double J to let you know that it's actually, you put a little stress on that, okuja. And you might find some people that spell this word as G-Y-A to, to, to produce that J sound, G-Y-A, J. But in, I've, I've decided to go for the double J, just to keep it simpler. Okuja, to come. Now let's conjugate. 
So the definition of conjugate is to give different forms of these verbs. To go or kugenda. Remembering that G is not gender as in agenda or kugenda. I go. Ngenda. Ngenda. Again, don't be tempted to go. Ngenda. It's ngenda. So you bring that NG together to create that sound ng as in Lupita Nyongo or song. Song. There are some people that say song, some people that pronounce song or singing. Singing. So you've been saying this 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 sound, making this sound for a very long time. So just take off sing n sit and just n ngenda ngenda. You go, you go, or genda, or genda. Remembering that G is a hard G. G genda or genda. He she goes. Agenda. 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 It goes. Chigenda. 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 Again, that KI pro produces that ch sound that we mentioned before. KI in this, at least in Luganda, produces that ch sound. They go. Bagenda. Bagenda. Again, that double B to let you know that it's stressed. Bagenda. As opposed to vagenda. Vagenda. Va vagenda will give you more of a, a, a past tense kind of phrase as opposed to a present participle. Present tense, rather. So they go. So this is the present tense for they go. Vagenda. We go. Tugenda. Tugenda. Now check this out. Notice how we left out the original pronouns you, pronouns you first learnt? This doesn't mean you can never use them. It's simply an easier way to say these verbs. It's easier to say nzenyenda, um, or rather it is possible to say nzenyenda or fetugenda. For example, if you're at a party and you and your friend are about to leave, you tell, you tell the, 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 the party guest, abange banange fetugenda, as in we are going. My people, everyone, we are going. Quick tip. In Luganda, typically, like I said, the G followed by a vowel, with the exception of the letter I, is a hard G. And again, there are exceptions to this rule, like in my name, Kalunji, which is a soft G. To be, Okuba, and this is a soft B, soft B, Okuba. So don't say Okuba, Okuba, Okuba. That would be something else. I am, Ndi. Ndi. Again, just like nze, nze, which means, again, I, it just means I and me, nze, I, me. In this case, it's I am. So to be, you know, I am sitting down, you know, I am. So ndi, ndi. So don't, just like nze, don't be tempted to, tempted to say ndi, ndi, ndi. You are oli. Oli. Again, I added that extra O just to let you know it's elongated. Otherwise, you might have been confused and pronounced it as Oli, as a name, but Oli, Oli. He, she. Ali, Ali. It is Chiri, Chiri. Again, that KI producing that ch sound as in church. And if you need, you know, something to remind you, you know, it sounds a little bit like you're saying chili, as in the country chili or chili peppers. And again, the L-I, you might find some people that might pronounce that, spell that with a letter R, but it's literally chili. They are Bali, Bali, plosive B, that double B produces that B sound. We are Tuli, Tuli. Warning, as you would expect, Luganda doesn't follow Western language rules. Each verb beats to the rhythm of its own drum. But as soon as you learn the rules, you'll be able to apply them accordingly. This is a tricky verb, okay? Okuba is a very tricky verb, okay? You'd think because it's okuba, the rule will be consistent with the verb to go. But no. However, pay attention to the prefixes, like we mentioned before. They will help you conjugate the word. For example, ndi lets us know that the future word verbs for I 
will always have the letter N in it. To come, Okuja, Okuja. Again, that double J, like I mentioned before, just to give you that stress. Okuja, I come, Nzija, Nzija, Nzija. Again, don't be tempted to pronounce that as Nzija, but bleed into that Nzija, Nzija. And you see how this conjugation of this word begins with the letter N as well, similar to Ndi, Nze, Nzija, Nzija. You come. Oja, Oja, and pardon that apostrophe, that really shouldn't be there, but Oja, Oja. He, she comes, Aja, Aja, and again that apostrophe really shouldn't be there, it's just confusing you, but ap apologies for that. Aja, it comes, Chija, Chija, remembering again that K-I produces that Ch sound, Chija. They come, Baja. Baja, with that double B, giving you that plosive B, 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 as in bus, B, Baja. We come, Tuja, Tuja, with that T, double T, to give you that F extra emphasis. Warning, Endala, another warning. Endala just seems, just means another. Warning, Endala. As I said in the warning before, there is a little bit of consistency when it comes to the conjugation of most Luganda verbs. To come is proof of that. The verb for I come does indeed have N in it, just as it did in to be or to go. So, take comfort in that. So, remembering again that to be, ndi, to go, nyenda, both of them have the letter N in it. So, that's a little clue there. Now, you try. I am Ugandan. You can see that's the map of Africa. Couldn't find the map of Uganda, but you can see the Lake Victoria right in there. So I am Ugandan. So why don't you try and conjugate this? Pause this lesson and try conjugate her before I give you the answers. So how would you say I am Ugandan? And of course, you are going to be able to get um, the word for being Ugandan in the next slide. I'm going to the shop. I'm going to the shop. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. There are, of course, some new words here. So, to be Ugandan, you'd say, Muna Uganda. A Ugandan is Muna Uganda. So, a Ugandan is Muna Uganda. A shop, a duka. I mentioned it earlier. A duka. Home is a waka. Waka, a waka. Linking words. Now, these are the words like to and a, uh, a, okay? So, linking words. To the shop. To the shop. Ku. Ku. To. As in going home. A. A. You bring that together. A waka. As you see over here. A waka. A waka. And ku. Duka. Kuduka. You just bring it right there. Kuduka. So, Okozo Tia, how did you do? I'm Ugandan. Ndimuna Uganda. Did you get that right? Pat yourself on the back for that. That's incredible. I'm going to the shop. Nyenda Kuduka. Nyenda Kuduka. Did you get that right as well? Well done if you did. If you didn't, feel free to go back to the last slide and refresh your memory. I'm coming home. Nzija. A waka. Nzija waka. You could take the A off. Nzija waka. It will still make sense. Greetings. In Luganda, it's best to be polite when greeting. To be on the safe side, end each greeting with a sebo if greeting a man, or nyabo if greeting a woman. Now, this applies if you do not know your relation to the person. We'll get into families in later lessons. Okubuza, to greet. Okubuza, to greet. Good morning. Wasuzo tia. Wasuzo tia. How are you? Olio tia. Olio tia. Good evening. Wasibio tia. 
wasibyotya good night sula bulunji sula bulunji goodbye goodbye welaba welaba now how do you respond to this so someone says to you good morning wasizotya bulunji sebo bulunji nyabo now notice how this b is a hard b but i didn't put an extra b in there again that is the inconsistency sometimes with luganda but you will find some people who might pronounce it as bulunji sebo with a soft b bulunji nyabo how are you oliotia jendi sebo jendi nyabo again that g y e produces that j sound like in okuja but we've just decided to go for the g y e because it's most familiar and most common good evening wasibyo tya bulunji sebo bulunji nyabo i'm remembering again that ny ny sound nyabo nyabo to produce that ny as in sonia o dunya if you happen to be an arabic speaker ny sound good night sula bulunji kale now we sula bulunji and that kale just simply means okay thank you sleep to sleep well to now we meaning you too now we sula bulunji sleep well test echibuzo get your quiz on let's see how well you remember what we've been learning numbers write the correct number in english kumi tan emu nya satu remembering again that ny sound gives you the ny ny sound like you'd find in sonya so nya 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 so nya nya why don't you pause the video to test yourself how did you do let's find out kumi 10 tan 5 emu 1 nya 4 satu 3 how did you do well done if you got all answers correct if you didn't why don't you go back to the number section and refresh your memory pronouns write the correct pronoun in luganda i am they are we are he is she is you are it is why don't you pause the video again to test yourself let's find out how well you did i am nd remembering again that that ndi sound should not be separated in and that you shouldn't pronounce it as n d but rather as nd as though you're saying the word in nd nd they are bali again the double b letting you know that it's a plosive b it's a hard b bali we are tuli that double t to let you know that it's stressed tuli he is ali she is ali you are oli and those apostrophes are just my own personal way of letting you know that it's actually elongated and it shouldn't be pronounced as ali or ali but rather as ali oli it is chili and remembering again that that ki sound creates that ch sound chi chi chili verbs write the correct verb in english okuja tugende aja ndi oli bagenda bagenda remembering again that that ba sound sometimes can be a bit confusing in this case i've made matters a lot more harder but just to remind you that there will be some people who will write this word as ba so just to be very careful and check the context in which this word is being used bagenda should really have that double b in there just to let you know and drive the point home that it is actually a hard plosive b bagenda
Well, let's see how well you take it. Okuja, to come. Tugenda, remembering again that that GE sound is G, 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 as opposed to J, J, that, that, that you might be used to with the word agenda. Tugenda, we go, we are going. Aja, again, not to confuse you because you've got the G, 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 and the J, 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 and you're thinking, wow, what should that be? But J, J, just to remind you that that just is is not the same way as you might say agenda but it's actually tugenda and aja aja i've decided to go for the double j as opposed to the gye or gya to not confuse you any further so aja you will find some people who will write it as a j y a aja but in this case it's double j aja he she comes or who she is coming nd remembering again don't pronounce it as ND, but rather as ND, I am. Ori, you are. Bagenda, they are going or they go. Greetings. Write the correct greeting in Luganda. How are you? Good night. Goodbye. Pause the video to find out how well you know the answers. How are you? Oliotia. Good night. Sulabulunji. Goodbye. Wherever, wherever. Introduction. Write the correct introduction in English. Mpitiwa, 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 nze, nze. Good evening, good evening. Again, that mpitiwa, b w a, bwa, bwa, bwa. If you go as though you're saying bwa, bwa, but bleed it all together, bwa. Bwa, bwa, mpiti bwa, bwa. And if you are a Ghanaian language speaker, this might be a little bit um, familiar that bwa, as in bwa in bwa tem, bwa, mpiti bwa. It might be helpful if you do happen to speak a Ghanaian language that does pronounce bwa tem in that way. Nze, again, not nze, but rather nze. And of course, uh, uh, good evening has been thrown in there to, to just uh, confuse matters even worse. Or confuse matters even more. In Pitiwa, I am called. Nze, I am. Good evening. Wasivi Otia. Wasivi Otia. And that double I just to make it make it even clearer that it's the past. I'm asking how you how you were, how you've been. Great. At last, finally, you've made it to the end of week one of Luganda 101 with Kalunji Sabandake. Now, if you need to go back and refresh, feel free to just return to the beginning of the slides. Next week, I look forward to seeing you where we'll take on some new verbs and learn a little more about your family.